And I'm going to look at the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquez. Comes in a box. This is a pack of cards that I got to go with my collection. Quite a very um, quite a, a sturdy box. It's got a bit of a, a magnetic fastening there. It comes with a book. There's about about 250 or 240 pages, I should say, in the book. It gives you details of, of various spreads that you can use, as well as the meanings of the cards. It's a very nice book. The book itself, if you were to buy this in the shop, you'd probably be paying what seven eight pound just for the book itself. So that, that is a really nice book to have. Cards fit, sorry, in the box like that. So if you were to tip it upside down, then it'll fall out. It does have a ribbon, but the ribbon's not much use. It just certainly doesn't fit them or fasten them into the box in any way, shape or form. The cards aren't embossed at all. But as I mentioned before, you can colour the edges if you wanted to. That is something that some people do. It's personal preference. I, I prefer not to, but that's my preference. So I'll show you the Major Arcana. Colours are very vibrant on the decks, which is what attracted me to them. I've not actually used them for reading for other people as yet but they are in my collection and uh, I do like the images one thing you may notice on um, this deck of cards is that a lot of the people the images of the people are from different places of the world so you've got many cultures that are represented in this deck Uh, that's the tarot going politically correct for you. <laughs> As I say, this is the major arcana. I find that card a little bit strange, the judgment card. Looks like they're being boiled alive, doesn't it? Uh, another thing I've noticed in this particular deck, you've got the Hierophant, or the High Priest, with the two people sitting at the bottom, which is very similar to the Devil card in most packs. Now, in this particular deck, this is the Devil. And again, there you've got the two people sitting underneath um, I'll let each person out there seeing that make what you will of it I know my thoughts on it but uh, again per personal preference isn't it our own interpretation so I'll show you the minor arcana Let's start with the ones the cards are very similar to what are in most other decks you can probably see what I mean about the colours being really vibrant and with the different cultures represented on the cards That's the back of the cards. It's almost like you've got the compass points for animals on the back. We come to swords. In some decks you'll, you'll get the swords representing fire instead of air. Although usually it's wands that represent fire. And the swords represent air. Uh, 
but as you can see the actual cards are more or less the same as in usual tarot decks with the normal meanings of the swords cards okay so then it's cups the card stock that has been used is quite flimsy when it when compared to other decks and I think that some of the cards that I've had I've had for ne nearly 40 years and I'm still using them they've lasted that long scuffed albeit but with these I think if I was using them to read for other people constantly I don't think they would last that long certainly not actually because they they are quite yeah it's card that she's but it's not uh, not as strong as in other decks now i've not actually tried to read with these cards as yet I like the the images they um, attracted me with the vibrant colors the vibrant designs so they are in my collection okay and that last one was earth that we saw there they're a nice size they're very easy to hold very easy to shuffle both ways if you were to take them with you anywhere you'd have to put these in a tarot bag or in some kind of small box because this box is quite big to go in your bag as I say there's that ribbon there but they, it doesn't hold the cards in whatsoever it's of no use And it doesn't actually say on the back of the box how much these were, but I think they were 20 odd pound. And when I look at the book, as I say, I would expect that to be about seven or eight pound, maybe. Other people might dis disagree with me. But then the cards, maybe 13 pound for a deck of cards. So what we're paying for here is more the box than anything else. A completely redundant ribbon that's of no use whatsoever. The box is nice, but it is quite bulky. And you certainly couldn't take that in your bag if you were going out and you wanted to take a pack of cards with you. That's definitely not one to pick unless as i say if you put the cards in a tarot bag or some kind of um, small box that you could carry with you easily but thank you for looking if you like my reviews of the tarot and if you want to see some more just press subscribe just uh, you know press that button because i will be doing some more i've got over 70 um decks tarot cards oracle cards fortune telling cards in my collection and i will be going through them one at a time so uh, yeah just press subscribe if you want to continue and seeing the different ones get some ideas of what you want yourself okay thank you take care